Hi everyone! Uh, it's been a while since I've posted any videos. I do apologize. Um, I went on vacation and came back and I had umbilical hernia surgery last Tuesday. So I've just kind of been relaxing and taking it easy. Um, I have continued to paint. I just have not, unfortunately, done any videos on them. But I did want to do a video on how I prep my paintings for shipping. Um, you know, I've just started doing this, but I do have three years shipping experience. So that helps. I've already shipped out two of these and the customer said that they were they were perfectly fine when they received them, so I'm just going to keep going with this method. Um, so this is this is a custom flow painting that I did uh, for one of my friends. Uh, they wanted sort of an African safari theme. Uh, I believe I did a video on this one, so go check out my videos if you want to see how I created this. I also coated it with... Uh, with some epoxy so it has a very nice smooth sheen to it and this is ready to ship to the customer so um oh also i wanted to show you real quick um michael's sells these 12 by 12 uh sheets of i think they're cardstock paper I'm not entirely sure. They're about 69 cents each for a 12 by 12. And I don't know if you can see the texture, but it's just really nice texture. It looks very professional on the back. Uh, what I do is I put double-sided permanent tape on, on all of the edges, and then I just adhere it to the painting, and it does a really good job. Um, also... As you can see, I have a little sticker there. Um, and I got this custom made at zazzle.com, uh, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E.com. Um, I had all my wedding invitations and stuff printed from there as well. They're really good priced. They're always having sales. So uh, if you guys are ever interested in, you know, getting something like that done for your own artwork, I definitely suggest them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I start with the painting face down. And then what this paper is, this is called glassine paper. I purchased it from Amazon. And it just helps uh, the painting not stick to anything. And it keeps that epoxy finish nice and scratch free and pristine so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I wrap this For me personally, I like it when the end is right here, so you can sort of just wrap it around the side right there, and it looks nice and neat, as you can see. I'm trying to keep this in frame here. <laughs>
I try to keep everything as neat as possible. I'm not really the best gift wrapper, so <laughs> I try. Just want to make sure that these are not going to go anywhere during shipping. Okay, so there we go. Nicely, neatly wrapped, as neatly as possible. So the next step is cardboard. Um, you can actually buy uh, large sheets of of cardboard I did that at first and then I ended up finding um, little 12 by 12 uh, cardboard sheets that were already pre-cut um, if you can afford it it is a little bit more but then you're not stuck trying to cut a perfect square out of a big sheet of cardboard <laughs> so uh, I'll just pay the few extra pennies for convenience okay so you just want to make sure that these pieces of cardboard are on there evenly. And of course your glassine paper is going to stick out a little bit on the sides. Uh, don't really worry about that too much. Okay, so, so here's what I do next. So I'm just going to wrap the tape around to the other side and I'm going to do that on all four sides. Oh goodness, I'm a little off. Sorry y'all, I have OCD, so if it's not perfect, then I'm doing a redo. That is going to bug me. Let me just undo all of these. So here's a lesson in what not to do, <laughs> or how to correct a mistake, I guess.
Okay, this time is going much better. Sorry about that. Okay, so after that ordeal, we are all done with that. Let me grab my box. So this box is a 13, uh, 13 wide by 13 in length by 4 inches deep. And this is the perfect size for pretty much anything up to a 12 by 12 painting. So um, I always recycle, like if I, I purchase a lot through Amazon, so I always keep uh, their packaging so I can recycle and plus it reduces my, my costs for shipping. So actually, let me see. So I, I put this in here, the front facing down. And this customer also ordered another 10 by 10 that I had. So I'm going to go ahead and place that in there as well. Let me go grab some more paper. sure this one is uh, front side down as well and it is just want to make sure that I'm stuffing the paper down uh, enough to cover the sides and prevent any damage that way. Easy way if you don't have any assistance to get this uh, the top of the box done. You know, a lot of people start from this side and then they go over their hand, and it just creates a big mess with the tape. So what I do is just take a little piece of tape. I put it on the sides. And then I, and then I go over. Okay. And 
then you have a nice neatly packaged canvas um, one other thing you never ever want to trust the postman with your packages so just for as extra precautionary I bought this roll of fragile tape or fragile stickers and you can never be too careful so you might as well put it on the bottom too in case they throw it somewhere upside down and there you go that is how I ship my uh, my photos or my canvases sorry <laughs> all right well if y'all have any questions you just let me know bye